Hello and welcome to the Final Frontiersman. I'm your host Jeremy and today we're going to be talking about the Eagle Moss XL version of the NX-01 Enterprise from Star Trek Enterprise. Um, really hope you're going to enjoy this review. Let's go ahead and move on over and get right into it today. Alright guys, so here we have it. The NX-01 Enterprise from Eagle Moss, the XL version. All right, and as always, I'll show the box off a little bit, but these boxes just don't really have a whole lot to look at other than that beautiful shot of the ship on top. And what we're going to do, we're just going to dive right on in and take a look at what's inside this box here. There's the styrofoam casing. I'm knocking off all kinds of things over here that you guys can't see, but there it is. Oh, it's trying to hide again. We're going to gently remove... We're going to take the base out first because I'm going to be setting it on the base shortly. Now, I've had some pretty high reviews so far about these ships, but immediately as I start talking about what the problems can happen with these guys, we have one right here. As I've taken out, the nacelle fell right off. Now, that's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, it can be just put right back on with a little bit of glue right there. Um, that's the only complaint that I have about this ship. But then I start to question myself a little bit because, as I said before, um, when I heard about the Eagle Moss line, I heard they were all metal. I'm like, I gotta have these things. And I found out they're not all metal, right? The nacelles for this one are plastic when the main body of the ship, the saucer section and the rear section there, are actually metal. So they're not 100% metal, but other than that, they're, they're, they're fine. I mean, I'm not completely disappointed, but things like that can happen in that situation. It's kind of something I was afraid of, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Once it's on there and secure, sitting on your shelf, it's not gonna go anywhere. You can jiggle it around, move it around. It's not gonna go anywhere. Anyway, let's get some close-up shots of this guy. I am so happy. There's a little bit of a shadow there. I want to see if I can take care of that. There it is. There is a beautiful representation of the NX-01. The first Enterprise to go into there. To be in the Star Trek series. I got some really nice blue see-through there. I'm going to get some more close-up shots of the top section. Tops of the nacelles here. We're going to flip this guy over. Look at the bottom of it. Really, really happy with how this guy right here turned out. Um, so I'm one of those guys that actually enjoyed Enterprise. I loved Enterprise. I thought Enterprise was a lot of fun. I really thought the ship was a, a neat design to be on there. All right, so let's take a look at the base right here. The base, of course, comes in two parts. One just sits on top of it. And then we're going to, if I'm not mistaken, clips in just like so. And there you have it. A great little piece right here. He seems sturdy on his base. I'm gonna do some jiggling here. Doesn't seem like he's gonna come down too easy. So, all right, that's going to be the Eagle Moss and X01 Enterprise, the XL version. On my scale of 1 to 10 on this guy, I'm going to give this guy a painful 7 because I wanted to give it an 8. But when I opened him up and that nacelle fell off, that really, really bothered me a good bit. Um, do wish that uh, that would have been a little bit more secure. Or they could have been metal. That would have been nice too, I guess. Give it a little bit more weight. Um, but other than that, I'm really, really happy with this design. I really appreciate you guys stopping by, you know, like our video, follow. If you have any questions for me or anything, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to talk about it. If there's a ship that you want to see a little sooner than, I, than the rest, please let me know. I'd be happy to see if I can get my hands on it. Other than that, guys, thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.